Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade vanilla ice cream. I picked up myself this KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment, so I can't wait to show you how to use it and make your own ice cream. Let's get started. So this is the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment. I purchased this for about $90 Canadian from a website called Golda's Kitchen. That's where I get most of my baking supplies and it happened to be on sale, so I grabbed it up right away. In the box, you'll find the freeze bowl. This little piece down here is called the driver. And then the piece that looks like a paddle attachment is called the dasher. It also comes with a instruction manual that includes recipes, how to wash your bowl and other general maintenance. Now this bowl has the locking system at the bottom that locks into a regular tilt head KitchenAid stand. And it also has the arms on the side here, which will attach into a t um, one of the bowl lift KitchenAids. So the most important thing that you need to be aware of to start off is that the freeze bowl must be frozen for 15 hours before you use it to make your ice cream. So I'm going to pop that in right away and then I'll be back to show you how to make the vanilla ice cream. To make our homemade vanilla ice cream, we're going to be using one cup of granulated sugar, two and a half cups of half and half. Now this is a cream that is 10% milk fat. If you're looking for it, it might not be called half and half, but just look for the 10% milk fat. We're also going to be using two and a half cups of whipping cream. And again, that is 33% milk fat. We're going to use one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and eight egg yolks. The first thing I need to do is heat up the half and half. So I'm pouring it in here into my pot and I'm going to heat it on medium heat until it is nice and hot but not boiling. So once the milk has started to steam and there's little bubbles around the outside of the pot, that tells you that it is nice and hot. So now I'm just going to take it off of the heater and I'm going to set it aside and we'll start the next step. So I have my mixer set up here with my whisk attachment and my eight egg yolks in the bottom of the bowl. And I'm also going to now add my sugar into there. And we're just going to mix this up slightly until it's all incorporated. Once you have your eggs and sugar combined, you're going to take your warm cream and you're going to slowly add it into the bowl. I'm going to turn the mixer on to low and slowly add the cream. So once your cream and egg mixture has combined, we're going to put it back into the same pot that we used before, and we're going to heat it up again the same way. So we're looking for that same nice warm temperature that's nice and hot, but it's not quite at the boiling temperature yet. So I'm going to do that now. So once our half and half mixture has heated up and you can see the steam and the bubbles around the sides, you're going to pour it into a bowl that has a lid so you can put it in the fridge later on. But up next, we will put in the remaining ingredients. So into our warm mixture, we're going to add our whipping creams. So we've got two cups in here and another half cup here. So that's two and a half cups. And we're going to add our salt and our vanilla extract. So I'm going to stir that up, mix it all together. Then I'm going to put my lid on and this has to cool down and it's going to cool um, for about eight hours. You want it to be nice and cold before you put it into the freeze bowl with the ice cream maker attachment. So my Cream mixture is nice and cool. My freeze bowl is very cold. And what I need to do now is attach my driver to my KitchenAid attachment. I'm just going to slide it onto this little piece here. And it slides on quite easily like that. Let's give it a little wiggle, make sure it's attached there. Now I'm going to pour my cream mixture into the freeze bowl like that. Make sure it's all in there. 
and I'm going to now place the dasher into here. So it will support itself, and then as you push this down, it's going to connect, you just wanna make sure it connects up with the driver, and then you're going to put it onto low or speed number two, and it's going to mix for about 15 minutes to be soft serve ice cream. So after your ice cream has been mixing for about 15 minutes, you'll find that it's nice and creamy. Now I like my ice cream a little bit firmer, so I'm just going to pop it into this bowl, and then I'm going to obviously remove this piece, but I'm gonna just clean that off first. And then I'm going to pop it back into the freezer for a little bit longer, just to firm it up a bit. So I have my nice hardened ice cream, so I'm going to take my ice cream scoop and I'm going to dish up some of this delicious homemade vanilla ice cream. So I'm gonna put them in these little mini ice cream cups. They're super cute. So I'm going to dish up a couple more, maybe add some sprinkles, some chocolate sauce, we'll have to see. I'll be back to show you the finished product next. So there you go everybody, how to make vanilla ice cream from scratch using the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment. Now I loved this ice cream maker, it absolutely was easy to use, it didn't take too long other than the one drawback would be the amount of time that it takes to freeze the freeze bowl and then obviously the 8 hours that it takes to have the cream mixture set. But overall, I absolutely love it. And because of that, I want to be able to make more ice cream. So please leave a comment in the description box about what kind of ice cream you would like to see me make, and maybe I'll make your flavor. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys all again next time.